Welcome to our Laravel troubleshooting session. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter. Our viewer is facing an error that states, route password.reset not defined. This error pops up when trying to implement custom password reset functionality in Laravel 5.4. Let's dive into the details and see how we can resolve this together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. The error you're encountering indicates that the route password.reset is not defined in your application. This is likely due to the way Laravel's built-in password reset functionality expects certain routes to be registered. In Laravel, the password.reset route is typically defined in the routes file. Since you're creating your own routes, you need to ensure that the route names match what Laravel expects. Now, let's look at your existing routes. You have defined the routes for sending the reset link and for resetting the password, but you need to explicitly name the reset route. After adding the route name, your application should now recognize the password.reset route when the password reset form is submitted. Make sure to test the functionality again. If you continue to experience issues, double check your route definitions and ensure that your password controller is correctly set up to handle the requests. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Laravel 5.4, if you encounter the error, wrote password.reset not defined, you can use the wrote function. The wrote for password email is accessed with password.email, which returns the URL for resetting a password with a token. Alternatively, the password.request wrote gives you the URL for the password reset form without a token. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the route password reset not defined issue in Laravel 5.4, check if your reset link has localhost in the URL. If it does, update the app URL in your .env file and run the command to clear the configuration. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.